Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with the category list view. And in this one, we're going to be listing out all the categories that we've got in our database and we're going to be displaying them in a, in different sections in our e-commerce platform. Make sure to drop a like on this video and consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. Also, if you want to get the templates that we are working with, this is it over here. Then do make sure to check out the links in the description below. The links are going to point you to the right directions to get a template. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and open up my code editor. I remember we walked this path from the last videos. Now, in order to get the categories, um, first, the first thing that you might say is, um, firstly, where do we want to display the categories? Okay. Now, there are a lot of places where you could display the categories, right? So, take note of that. Firstly, we could display the categories here. As you can see, browse all categories. Now, the categories might also come in handy somewhere like this when you want to search. And also there is there should be like uh, a link over here that shows the category right so that's what we're going to be doing in this video now let's go ahead and get started so um firstly you could create a new view for that i'm just going to come over here and i'm going to say define and um we could, we could call this category list view so i'm going to say category underscore list underscore view and um so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna come over to I'm going to come over here and I want to grab this, come over to views. And this one is going to take in requests. Take note of that. Now in here, what do we want to do? We want to go ahead and get all the categories, right? So we're going to define a variable, Ketty go race. So remember how we got all the products. I would even like to give you guys a challenge to go ahead and try this yourself. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to be giving you a couple of challenges in the in the upcoming videos. But remember how we got the products. We defined a, a variable product. You can call this whatever you want. And then we use the product over here, which is this that we've got in our database that we got. We filtered. Remember the first thing we did was get all. Well, this time around, we filtered out and even, and even made it more tight to what we want. This time around, I want you to do the same thing with the categories, okay? And that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to say category.object the all so this is gonna display all the categories hopefully you guys know and um, just as usual i'm gonna create context to be able to pass the categories into a template and i'm gonna call this categories and um, also i'm gonna call this categories so this categories over here is this one that we've got over here right now it's the same thing that we've got over here so finally we're gonna go ahead and return a template so i'm just gonna copy that in order to speed this up and not waste much time so copy that and paste it that's it but this one we could just name it category list so category dash list the html now that's pretty much what you want to write for the view i'm going to come over to the url and um i'm going to duplicate this and for this one i'm just going to say category dash list simple as that and over here i'm just going to say category okay category slash rather so that's pretty much it now if we come over here and say we want to come over to slash category now i'm, I'm just going to get back here and um i'm going to come over to this slash category now what do you notice this page opens up right well there is a problem and that problem is because if you come over to the url see we are still using the index so we need to change this one to category list view now we should see a template error okay that's it so it's looking for a template called this. Now I'm just gonna copy that over there. And I'm gonna come over to the core and I'm simply gonna paste this in here and I'm gonna refresh. So this is what we've got now, right? So um, the next thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and display the, the categories. And in order to display the categories, I told you guys that we've got templates over here. So I'm just gonna open this up. And as you can see, this is category list. That's what we're gonna be using. Firstly, let's view how it looks looks I'm sure this looks really nice this is how it's looking over here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna close this off and um i'm gonna come over here and open up the this is it i'm gonna i'm just gonna open this up and i'm gonna copy all the the code over here and i want to paste it in here so now if we come over here and refresh this is gonna look very ugly and that's because we need to configure some things so firstly 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 we need to come over to index and this what I really love doing is just copy all this all this code that I've got over here. I'm just gonna copy the tree lines and in the category list you want to look for header. So look for header. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna minimize that and also minimize this one so just after the end header copy to the head copy everything to the head section and delete it now paste what we've copied which is this one hopefully you guys are following along now the next thing that we're gonna remove is the footer so minimize the main and remove everything from the footer all the way to the bottom now we're gonna paste what we've copied also but this time around I want to remove this too or there's gonna be a huge problem and also you want to end block instead of block content so this started it now this is ending it as simple as that now how about we try refreshing again what do you think we're gonna see a beautiful template okay now we need to go ahead and change up a couple of things for example the blog and news I'm gonna change this to categories and um, I think that should be it now all this links all this over here we don't need it because if we want to list out the categories over here then it's, it's going to be a problem when we start having like 5 10 15 categories so for now i'm just going to going to go ahead and comment this out but we might leave it for future um purposes so we comment that out now that's pretty much what we want but as you can see the categories isn't changing yet this categories over here that's what I'm, that's what i was supposed to put over here okay so home category now that should be it you guys can see that's changed over there now we need to go ahead and change up all these categories that we've got over here and how do we do that so i'm going to be starting from this i'm going to minimize this one i don't need that now let's see this is the this is the first one right so we need to see where each card are so this is it article now you want to just minimize all this article that's what we're going to be getting rid of okay so remember what we did from the products where we minimized all the dummy products that we've got in our database rather in the in the html the static dummy products that we got how we minimize them all then delete edits that's the same thing that we're doing here so i'm going to minimize oh we've got a lot of articles as you can see now i'm going to get rid of all these other articles and i'm just going to stick with one so now if you come over here and refresh you should see just one article now that's pretty much it over here I'm gonna say firstly what we could just do is count how many categories that we've got over there so I could just say categories dot count okay so now if we refresh this what do you notice two and this categories dot this categories dot counts that I pretty much mentioned is this one over here so remember we, we brought all the categories that we have in our database we passed it in here we passed the context in here so we could be able to access these categories in the in the template now when you call category over here in here see if we get rid of this count and refresh this you know you're gonna see an array so as you can see this is an array a query set and this is category food and this one cosmetics but instead of getting this we just want to count one two so that's why we passed in that method count and this is going to count it but what we should do is just come over here and say categories so what do you notice now we got two categories now let's go ahead and change up all the things that we've got over here so um we're going to be starting off with the with the first one this is the article and remember what we did we need to run a for loop so we're going to say for c in categories okay now i'm going to come over here and end for so we end for now if we come over here and refresh how many do you think we're going to get we're going to have we're going to have two of this okay now for the pagination right now we'll be working with pagination so what i could do is just comment that out i don't need it for now and I'm gonna I'm gonna maximize that and firstly let's remove this dummy image that we've got over here and put in the category image so I'm gonna say C dot image the URL and over here we will refresh now what do you notice we got a category images right these are the ones that we have in here so this is it over here there's two categories that's what we've got over here so as sweet as that now what is another thing that we've got we've got a side dish now we could just change the side dish to whatever you want but i'm just going to comment it out i don't need anything about that now for this one i'm just uh oh that should be control alternate up arrow okay so i mistakenly type control alternate side arrow so this should be um the name of the category now i'm just gonna copy this and i'm gonna put c that's title okay now we should refresh this now what do you notice cosmetic and food now we don't need any dates right we don't need any dates we don't need this thing all we just need over here is to count how many products that we've got so we need to say something like um 200 products okay 200 products so now if we refresh this what do you notice 200 views but this time around is 200 products but does this category have 200 products 
No, it doesn't. So we need to get this dynamically, okay? If this has one product, okay, if you come over to the, if we come over to the products now, this is all that we've got over here. I wanna also display the, the category in the product admin. So just, just alongside the price, I wanna say category, and I also wanna display the vendor. So I'm gonna say vendor, okay? Now, if we refresh this, as you can see, we got the category and we got the, the vendor. So take note, the food has the food category has two products, the cosmetic has one. So over here, we should have two products and one product. So let's go ahead and achieve that. What I'm gonna do is, firstly, we need to do this using a related name. So in the models.py, you wanna look for the, for the, for the category. Okay, rather you want to look for the product in this category over here. So we want to simply give this a related underscore name and we're going to call this one category. Okay, as simple as that. Related name, I will call the category. Now, all we need to do is just come over here and run python manage.py, migrate and make migrations. Hopefully you guys know that whenever we, we mess around with the model, that's what we are supposed to do. So we run this and we should also run this. That's it. Now let's come over here and refresh. Nothing is still gonna happen. So we need to go ahead and write that out now. So in the category list, uh, the best way to do that, I'm gonna remove this has dot over here and that, that, that first dot should be gone. Okay, so the first thing to do now is just say um, C dot category dot all. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, right now, what do you notice? We got body lotion and we got fresh pear and bananas. It's actually working, but instead of all, I'm gonna use the count. So remember, that's what we used before. So now what do you notice? One product, two products, simple as that. Now we need to um, actually make this sell nice because one product, there's nothing like that. There shouldn't be an S over here. We usually have an S for the two. So in order to do that, I'm gonna get rid of this S and I'm gonna paste the same thing that we copied over here in place of the S. Now what do you think is gonna happen if you refresh? As you can see, products one, products two. Now we wanna automatically check if the product is more than one, we're gonna add S. If it's only one, we don't wanna add S. So you wanna do that using a filter that is called pluralize, okay? Then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna refresh. Now what do you notice? Two products, one product. And you could even be specific and mention whatever you want to use as the, the plurals. Because it's something like you say something like hello. So whenever it's more than one, then what you're gonna see there is something like um what do you notice? Product hello and products. Okay. So for now I'm gonna stick with S, but if you don't add in an S, it's automatically gonna detect what it should be for you there and it's gonna add it. Okay. So guys, that's it for the category and let's see what we're going to be doing in the next video. I think we worked with the products, we worked with the category list view, we worked with the product category list view. So I think in the next one, we're going to start working with this feature that when we click on this, it's going to open up a new page for us that's going to show the products, the one product that it's showing up over here. So instead of just showing up over here now, it's going to show the products instead of just showing one. Okay. Hopefully you understand. Let's say that it's these two products. Then we will click on this. It's going to open up a new page that's going to, that's going to highlight this as the category and show us the products that's under this category. Hopefully you guys understand everything that went on. Let me just drop a like because that's subscribing as it will really mean the world to me. But before I go ahead and end off, one more thing that I want to show you guys is this. I'm going to come over to the view. And remember the way we did this counting thing over here? Do you remember the way we did this category that count? Yeah, that's one way of doing it. Now I want to show you guys another way of doing it before I go ahead and end of this video. Now that's going to be my goal in this series. I'm going to be showing you guys different ways of doing different really cool things. Now over here, I'm going to say categories should be equal to, and remember we used category dot objects dot all. But this time around, I'm going to be using a method that's called annotate. Okay. So I need to import annotate at the top. I'm going to say from Django dot I think that should be db dot models. I want to import annotate. Okay. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm importing the annotate from the right place. I think that should be okay. I think you don't need to import annotate. What what I was referring to was average, not annotate. Not import annotate. Annotate is inbuilt. So all we need to do is just come over here and say product the dot that. Then we're gonna say annotate. Okay. If you call it like that, it's, it's pretty much gonna work for you. Then over here, we're just gonna call this whatever we want. We could say product underscore count. Then for product underscore count. Now what we need to import is a count method. 
So I'm going to say from this import count. Okay. Now we need to count all the products that are related to this category. And for that, we're going to pass in the count. And after the count, what we're simply going to go ahead and pass in is product. Okay. So when this is done now, we could, we could simply say category dot product underscore count. And that's still going to work. So I guess that's going to be it for this video. In the next one, we're going to go ahead and start working with the with the product category list view. And hopefully you guys are going to be there. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing. And also, if you want to get the templates, check out the link in the description below. It should help you get the, the templates. And um, before I go ahead and end off this video, as usual, I want to also display the categories over here. Real quick, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to come over here and i'm going to copy for c in that and this is it over here milk and diaries now what i'm going to do is i'm going to and i'm going to get rid of all this real quick and um just over here i'm going to paste the for loop and i'm simply gonna end for okay so now when we've done this over here what we simply need to do is go ahead and change this to the title of whatever is it that we are calling so that's c dot title that's the title of the category and remember this one we say c dot category dot count okay so finally we just go ahead and change off the image and we are done see that's image the url okay so now what do you think is going to happen so when we refresh as you can see it shows up two and it shows up one category so that's pretty much it drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me you want to get a template as i said before check out the link in the description and until the next video but love peace out